I'm going to construct the normal curve. I'm not going to explain this because we did this in class. Maybe not doing a really good job. Maybe not getting completely accurate. But right there is an approximation to the normal curve. Our z values are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. This is what you automatically do when you're asked to construct a normal curve. Now, I had a problem on the homework where I asked people to estimate areas. And uh, most people did that. One person didn't seem to remember how to do a normal curve. Remember that you're going to have to be able to do these things. Um, once we've been over them and once you've been asked to do them. Um, but, but there's a possibility we, uh, yeah, the one person that didn't do this uh, correctly uh, might have missed this on the homework or something. <coughs> okay. Um, now, if, for example, I want to do the z equals 0.5 point so that I cut the region between 0 point 0 and 1 and half. Um, you know, we might do that along this line. Not particularly accurate. The line is a little wavy. Um, if I project over from here, if the middle is 1, in other words, if this distance here is 1, then uh, what's this distance? Well, you know, this should be 0.6 because of the way you were instructed to sketch the approximate curve. <coughs> if you want to know what the area of this trapezoid is, if we approximate this first region by a trapezoid, well, the trapezoid would go from here to here. It would have uh, y coordinates or graph altitudes 1 and 0.6, and it would have a width of 1 and you'd be able to figure out its area. Now, I didn't ask you to figure out the area of that trapezoid. What I asked you to do was divide this region here into, uh, basically, uh, make it into four trapezoids. So what we do is, you know, of course, we're going to have to estimate this height here and this height here. And let me draw these segments here in yellow just to emphasize. Um, now we see that up here the curve comes up above the straight lines. Uh, down here uh, the curve actually uh, probably dips below the straight lines. I didn't draw the lines exactly right, but if you draw them uh, you'll see that. But in any case, uh, the curve seems to stay fairly close to the lines. <coughs> curve is a little over the line here, and the line, uh, actually I didn't draw a real good line there, kind of dips down. So there's some flaws in my picture, but now you're going to need to make estimates up here and here and here uh, so that you can answer questions about the areas of these trapezoids. Um, and then you might even uh, estimate an area out to 2.5 here. You might estimate where the graph goes there and estimate that area. And then we kind of neglect the area beyond 2.5, at least for our first approximations. So find the trapezoidal areas. And that's the uh, task. And we want to do that using decent estimates. And I don't think anybody really did that using good estimates of the y-coordinate here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Uh, some people had reasonably decent estimates, but they can be better. Uh, and also, if you draw the curve a little more accurately, uh, or a little bigger, it's easier to make those estimates. So I want to really see what you get from those estimates. And some people had pretty good results on their trapezoids. But that's something you should be able to do uh, fairly quickly.